And I can't blame her They like my style And I can't blame her They like my style And I can't blame her They like my style First and foremost, I roll like four pros Out of this world, I'm looking for and The best punches of the fight, he's won What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Cardinal Red, and we back for some more of that Ali Land Daily Boxing Talk, people. And today we talking Tim Bradley, Rips, Spence Jr., and Pacquiao to protect Ducking, Crawford, and Bob Earl. All right, y'all. So y'all know I hate to use that word, man, ducking. I hate to say that fighters are ducking each other, man, but... Recently, some uh, words were spoke by Tim Bradley and Andre Ward, but I want to focus on what Tim Bradley said and uh, why I feel like he's on the behalf of Bob Earl because, you know, Tim Bradley's made a lot of money with Bob Earl. You know, these are the guys who originally screwed Pacquiao out of his title. Uh, so, you know, I, I don't feel like it's nothing uh, Tim Bradley wouldn't do for some money. And for Bob Earl. So I just want to break down why I feel like he's on the behalf of Bob Earl is protecting and allowing and helping Terrence Crawford duck Manny Pacquiao and now and Earl Spence, but I don't want to say Terrence Crawford is ducking. I want to say Bob Earl as a promotional company and uh and I think knowing that I think he knows that Terrence Crawford can't beat Spence and I think he knows that Terrence Crawford Pacquiao has Terrence Crawford's number so on behalf of Terrence Crawford I want to say that they are ducking yeah. <laughs> you know and Tim Bradley you know he was a decent fighter when he was fighting you know but Manny Pacquiao was his Achilles heel you know Pacquiao beat him up a few times and you know he got kind of screwed out of his title uh, depending on who you who you talk to, but I, I think pretty much everyone knows that Pacquiao beat him every time they got into the ring together. And now you know him along with Bob Earl, they came together to attack Earl Spence Jr. and Manny Pacquiao basically because they realized, man, you know this is one thing <clears throat> that people have to realize when you talk about uh, Terrence Crawford. You might believe. Terrence Crawford is the best fighter out there and you might believe that he would beat Pacquiao and Spence on his worst day but here's the problem man and this is the thing about professional boxing you know it's all about money man these guys just don't get in the ring to hug each other and you know that this is professional boxing you could really get hurt so it's all about the money when it comes to professional boxing what is the highest paycheck I could get for going in her and brutalizing myself and the other guy basically you know so for him to say some of the things that he said is crazy because this is the same guy who basically screwed over Pacquiao and, and, and got his titles and never and never actually told the truth about what happened when he fought Pacquiao so you know it's crazy to hear him say that uh it's all about the money for Earl Spence. But I'm going to let y'all hear straight from the horse's mouth, man. I'm going to go ahead and play this clip from uh, Timothy Bradley real fast. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. <laughs> I don't see it happening. Why would you go up and face, go up north and face Canelo, but you won't face Terrence Crawford in the same weight class as you? That's a money, that's a money, that's a money thing for him, you know? I think that Spence is at a point now, and correct me if I'm wrong, or I think he's just wants to get the money and then he wants to leave the game so i mean he's saying basically that earl spence is not going to fight terrence crawford simply because he's not getting the bigger piece of the of the pie and that's been my argument the whole time is they got to understand 
It's all, it is all about the money. You know, why wouldn't he go fight a Manny Pacquiao if he can get a bigger payday uh, than he would if, if he took on Terrence Crawford because those guys over there at top rank want to be the A-side. So why would you, the unified champion, say, hey, I'm going to go fight Terrence Crawford and get, you know, $2 million and be the, the, uh, the B-side in the fight, probably get screwed out of my titles, or I could go face Manny Pacquiao make 10 million dollars and you know everything be on an even playing field because we both on pbc boxing or i could go fight another pbc guy and make five million dollars and 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 not have to worry about being screwed out of my titles or being in a shady style fight because i'm dealing with top rank and bob Earl and, and you know the rest of these guys over there who basically realized that Terrence Crawford is stuck on this island over there because he has nobody else to fight. I mean, that's what they, they have to realize. If there are no fights for Bob Erm to make with Terrence Crawford except for uh, crossing over and dealing with PBC, you know, what do you have to complain about? How could you say that Earl Spence is, is, is ducking when... You you have you don't even have any fights to be set up at top break. You have you only you can't you can't point to one legitimate welterweight that top rank holds besides uh, Terrence Crawford at this point. The only option at this point is is to wait and see how Tiafimo Lopez builds up. And you know that might be a year year and a half down the road. And I mean, what's Terrence Crawford doing in the meantime? They could have the Tiafimo. And Lomo rematch and then have Tiafimo move up uh, to 140 for six months and then and see if he beats those guys and then move up to 147 and then have Crawford fight him. But you're talking two years down the line. What does Terrence Crawford do in the meantime? Who's left over there for him to fight in the meantime? You know, his only other option is to. I mean, and, and here's the here's another thing. Even if he did score a fight with Pacquiao, he's gonna be the B side in the Pacquiao fight. <laughs> So why wouldn't you just go take the money with Earl Spence? You know, if you really feel like you can beat Spence, uh, what you're going to gain in in fan base versus what you're going to lose in dollar signs is I feel like you're going to gain more of a fan base. So you'll make if you really feel like you're going to beat them, you're going to make that up in the long run tenfold. You know, so I don't even know what they're talking about. I don't understand why he's so worried about being the B side and taking a smaller cut of the money. Because, uh, frankly, I mean, what you're gonna gain in fan base is 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 gonna uh, is 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 gonna it's gonna drown out whatever you lose in dollar signs to fight Spence the first time. Because if you truly believe that you're going to beat him, there should be no doubt in your mind. Like it, it doesn't matter about the money. You know, the money is just secondary. I'm gonna win, and I'm gonna gain all. Uh, I'm gonna gain all of your fan base, or a majority of your fan base, because they're gonna see me beat the guy that everybody says says is unbeatable in Earl Spence Jr. So, you know, at this point, it is you know, Bob Arms using every tactic that he has in his book at, at this point to try to build Crawford up into this super fighter legendary status that he had Manny Pacquiao at. But the difference between Crawford and Pacquiao is Pacquiao had serious seriously unmatched talent. And Crawford's just a great fighter. He's a good fighter. And, you know, he's using everything at his disposal, though. He's using ESPN. You know, they have a contract, so they're calling him the best fighter in the pound for pound this and that. He's using Tim Bradley, one of his old champions, uh, who's on TV a lot, to, to hype um, Terrence Crawford up and to try to build this fight up. Because it's the only thing that he can do, you know. And then he has Crawford fighting these B-list, you know, last generation champions. Uh, former champions and and trying to show the fans that this guy is the truth but these are the same guys the earl spencer's already dominated in the past so you know let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man is uh who who do y'all feel like is ducking i hate using that word but who do y'all feel like is ducking in this situation and who do you feel like they're uh, they're gonna fight next is, is pacquiao gonna be the guy is spence Crawford gonna be the guy. Who? How do y'all think this is gonna end, man? Let me know down in the comment section. It's your boy Cardinal Red. And I can't blame them. They like my style. And I can't blame them. They like my style. 
And I can't blame her They like my style First and foremost, I roll like four pros Out of this world, I'm looking for